from here and they don't play shit. You know what I'm saying? But one motherfucking artist from here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, you know, I know plenty of motherfuckers with good music. It's just nobody don't get no spins or no, you know what I mean? No type of recognition for what they do. Everybody kind of like trying over and over and over to do shit and they feel like they got to change their music to the way other people's music is just to try to fit in instead of trying to do something new. You know, we ain't known for, I don't. I can't really say, I mean, what is Tallahassee known for? Homecoming? Um, you know what I mean? Like, what are we really known for? We're not known for no particular brand of music or style of yeah. music. I see now that niggas have to make a certain brand of sound of music. In Atlanta, they have a sound. It's a sound. In Miami, it's a sound. In Texas, it's a sound. You know what I mean? In, in any place you mention, it's a sound. But we, our sound is mimicked by what we hear. If I'm in the club for two, for three hours and for the first two hours I hear booty music, I'm going to say, damn, I got to make a booty music song because this is what gets the most burn. You know what I'm saying? So that's the type of shit like... Just the real shit, just history of how I believe and you know what I mean, if niggas fuck with me, they fuck with me, they don't, they don't. I mean, like I said, my opinion is my opinion. If it bother you, nigga, you know what I'm saying? Turn this shit off and watch something else. Yeah. I'm on that same shit. I'm on that same shit. Boy. All about your money. I'm on that same shit. shit. I'm on that same shit. Me. I'm on that same shit. Keep it real and never phony. I'm on that same shit. shit. I'm on that same shit. Me. I'm on that same shit. You can say the music scene in Florida. I would say the music scene in Tallahassee, because. You know, I mean, keeping the real, I'm not from Florida. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I look at, I'm from Tallahassee. And Tallahassee is located in Florida. You know what I mean? I'm a Florida boy, yes, but at the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? This is what I wake up to. I wake up to Tallahassee. You know what I'm saying? I can't say I wake up, you know, in Tampa or in Orlando or, you know what I mean? This is what I'm known to, to see every day. And the way the music scene in Tallahassee to me is, it's a lot of talent. You know, I've heard people say, oh, man, it ain't no talent, it ain't this, it ain't that. But I haven't seen a lot of talent, you know what I'm saying, with my own eyes. The kind of bad thing about it is that, you know, we had pretty much just one person here, um, you know, which is which is my manager, you know, and I ain't talking down. But, you know, we really only had one person here, and I tell him to his face, you know, I've been told him, you know, we got one person here that people was you know, looking up to and having to bring their music to. It is what it is. I feel like um, a lot of people don't get their chance. You know what I mean, a lot of people don't get your fast share when you when you growing up here and you doing music here. I'm seeing a lot of people come and go. I'm seeing niggas dreams deflate. We don't really get a, a lot of artists don't get a lot of exposure. The shit that I've always seen was uh, showcases. You know, shit you got to pay twenty five dollars to perform and. That niggas judge you and really you in a room full of a bunch of motherfucking rappers. So how you expect to to be, you know, seen in the same light? Rappers ain't going to give another rapper props. You know what I'm saying? We don't never have people here who are willing to jump behind an artist. Boom. Try to get this artist on. You go to Atlanta, Scream will get behind you. Uh, drama get behind you. Cannon get behind you. Sense get behind you. People get behind you and push a movement. When they see a movement coming, they help the movement. And um, around here, it's just not that. So, you know, we kind of limited. Because most people aren't even from this city that do shit. You know what I mean? You know, some DJs ain't from him. So, you know, they're not going to jump behind some, some local talent. Why I really don't think people help people from this city, to me, is... Uh, I really had to think about the whole T-Pain situation. You know, that was the last movement that I seen. That was the last uh, time I seen a bunch of people, a bunch of DJs um, get behind one person and uh, start moving behind that one person and trying to make that one person be somebody uh, bigger than just a local artist or a regional artist. You know, I, I hear shit in the street. I don't know if niggas feel like a nigga shitting on them or a nigga don't fuck with them like that no more. Or whatever it might have came to. All I could do is, you know, look from the outside looking in. Niggas don't help no more. And it's like, 
in my mind, I feel like niggas ain't helping because of what happened. They gave the support that they needed to give to, to, this, to this man and help him get on, and I think that it was just a, a line of miscommunication. You know what I'm saying? And that's just the way it went. And now, you know, the only people who paying for it is, is local artists from the city. Me personally, you know, I feel like that's the reason why niggas are not fucking with anything else. Hey. Oh, nah, nigga. Sheesh. What you was saying? Hey, man. <laughs> Fire that shit up. Me me with that bullshit, bro. Why you looking like that, nigga? You better get the fuck back. Wrong folks in there. Hell no, nah, I don't see you, nigga. I guess I'm going blind on them. This shit, watch how hard I shine on them. New fit, new chain, new stick.